I'm a software engineer and for the past 4 years I've worked entirely from home. After all that trial and error with different tools, these are the 6 simple tools that have consistently supported me through hours of deep work, helping me stay focused and finish most days with what I truly call as a productive day. I've tried it all, different desk setups, different productivity tools, even building my own home office from scratch, and I kept experimenting. Honestly, because I think I'm a little obsessed with productivity. But to me, productivity isn't about doing 10 tasks in 2 hours. It's about how I feel when the day ends. Was I able to focus well or am I still left with that feeling that I could have done better? So I got this ergonomic chair from Super Ergo and honestly, it has completely changed the way I work. So I've worked from multiple setups in the past, dining table chairs, plastic chairs, even the couch sometimes. and honestly it always distracted me more than it helped my back hurt i kept shifting around and i couldn't stay locked in for long i felt the shift as soon as i sat on it the cushioning compared to my old cheaper chair it literally felt like a soft hug and i love this chair because of the adjustability that it provides the armrests are fully adjustable forward backward even inward and outward that extra movement helps a lot whether i'm typing for hours or just pausing to note something down the mesh back is super breathable and smooth so even during long hours of work it gives me right support without making me feel sweaty or stiff and headrest is actually it surprised me you can adjust it up and down tilt it right angle left so whether i'm resting my head while working or just staring out of the window it just feels good the best part i love how smooth the wheels on this chair are i can literally roll to the fridge grab a coke and come back without standing up so i i think having the right chair is honestly the most important tool for daily productivity because you literally spend 8 to 10 hours sitting on a chair so yeah a good chair isn't just a luxury and it honestly is one of the best productivity tools i've added to my remote setup and thanks to super ergo for sending me this chair so after the chair the next thing i literally can't survive without are my noise cancellation headphones they become my daily drivers working from home there's always some kind of distraction family noise people talking traffic outside cafe noise if i'm working from a cafe with these on all that just disappears it's like switching off the world and switching on focus mode and a lot of times if i'm working from a cafe or somewhere outside these headphones support and clear out all the noise and not let people on the other side know that i'm working by a beach or at my desk at home and lately i've been hooked on to jason bond style instrumental music and with these headphones on i can just sit and code for hours It creates an instant bubble of focus wherever I am. I even built a work playlist that I use for deep work sessions and I've linked it in description if you want to try it. And it's not just work. I wear them while cooking, doing laundry, listening to amazing podcasts without any distractions. They are the one thing that I pick up most in my day. So after years of typing on laptop keyboards, I finally switched to a mechanical keyboard. And honestly, I get the hype now. Also compared to my MacBook or even my old Logitech keyboard, the difference is huge. Those had shallow keys, not much travel. But does key travel really matter? Well, yeah, when it makes typing feel like this. It instantly brought back the old school vibe. Those computer lab keyboards from school that made that satisfying clack clack sound. It's not just about the noise though, it's the feeling. Typing feels more in hand, more real, and coding on this feels a different level. And most mechanical keyboards come with super customizable options these days with being able to control lighting to sound control like this dial thing. It really makes usage easy and makes my desk look a lot more cooler. So far I've shown you the hardware tools that make my remote setup more productive. The chair, the headphones, the keyboard. But it's not just about the hardware. Productivity is also about how you manage your mind, prioritize tasks and keep track of things. So here is a list of tools that helped me develop that focus and stay on top of it. Even though there are a lot of digital tools to do this, I still use a partition notebook to keep track of everything that's going on. At least the raw parts of it. I take a lot of notes, ideas, to-dos, quotes I was inspired by, meeting highlights, and switching between apps sometimes slow me down or distracts me. So having a single notebook with built-in partitions means I can flip straight to the right section without hunting through pages or tabs. So I use the first section of this partition notebook for my daily tasks. Second one is for all the plans or the weekly or monthly plans that I'm making. Third is for the video ideas that randomly pop up into my head or any quotes that I'm inspired by. These colored tabs for sure make it easy to move fast. It's simple but it keeps my head clear and my day very organized. Now let's move on to the two apps. 
not actually apps let's just call them tools that have kept me focused disciplined and on track throughout the day and one of my absolute favorite apps when it comes to focus is forest i know it's a pretty old app but this is the only app that kind of helps me focus the way forest works is simple but powerful every time i want to focus i pick a tree set a timer and while i work the tree grows and if i get distracted and use my phone the tree dies and that visual is enough to keep me logged in and the best part over weeks and months you can actually see your whole forest grow tree after tree focus session after focus session it's like a visual journey of your discipline after you've put in a certain number of focus hours forest actually plants a real tree on your behalf so while i'm staying off my phone and getting my work done i'm also actually contributing to the environment by planting a tree so another software tool that i use every single day is notion for me this is like my digital second brain and the place where i organize everything so i don't have to carry it in my head so i use a simple kanban board to track all my projects which is split into four sections next up planning in making and completed and i've recently learned that breaking down tasks into 15 minute chunks is really helpful and in getting things done because usually before picking a big task that might take hours of work we end up procrastinating it so i've created a task database which is linked to each of these projects and i can just now simply create tasks inside my projects i've also added a effort column that to the task list so each task can have 5 10 or 15 minute effort window which can help in making me faster so yeah notion is less of an app and more of a habit for me now it's what makes sure that i'm not just busy but actually moving forward and i can use it on my phone desktop ipad any place possible just not on my tv yet so thanks a lot for watching this video till here These are some of the tools that I use on daily basis to just be more productive and do deep work in better ways. Do let me know if you use any other tools that help you and uh, I would love to try them out. Until then, see you in the next one.